Hello everyone, welcome to MIL session. In today's session, we will be discussing our syllabus followed by the first subunit 1.1. This particular paper is designed completely around the idea of environment. So first let's understand what environment is and then let's take a look at the texts we will be learning in this paper that displays the characteristics of environment through poem, prose and short stories. Along with this, we will also be learning the important elements of communication skills, which is listening, reading, writing and speaking to enhance your ability to communicate. Well, first of all, let's understand what environment is. Oxford Dictionary says environment is the surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal or plant lives or operates. The natural world or physical surrounding in general, either as a whole or within a particular geographical area, can also be considered as a definition of environment. The environment gives us countless benefits. We can't repay our entire life. Environment directly affects our health status and also plays a major role in quality of our life. Let's get into Unit 1. Our Unit 1 is Environment Poetry. Subunit 1.1 is The Felling of the Banyan Tree by Dilip Chitre. It's a beautiful poetry which talks about the felling of banyan tree. 1.2 Boat Ride Along the Ganga by Keki N. Darwala and 1.3, one of the most important communication skills that is listening practice. Here you will be dealing with ideas of how to improve your listening skills which in turn helps to benefit your communication skills. Unit 2, Environment Short Story 2.1, Subha by Rabindranath Tagore 2.2 Dust on the Mountains by Ruskin Bond and 2.3 Speaking Practice Exercise. Now let's look into Unit 1. This autobiographical poem being Dilipshit. Let's understand what is this one. Let's have a quick analysis of this poem, the felling. Of course, what is the point of all the summary and analysis and interpretation and discussion if we have not actually read the text, that is the poetry? So here it goes, the felling of the banyan tree by Dilip Shetri. My father told the tenants to leave, who lived on the houses surrounding our house on the hill. One by one, the structures were demolished. Only our own house remained and the trees. Trees are sacred, my grandmother used to say. Felling them is a crime, but he massacred them all. The Shioga the Audamar, the Neem were all cut down, but the huge banyan tree stood like a problem whose roots lay deeper than all our lives. My father ordered it to be removed. The banyan tree was three times as tall as our house. Its trunk had a circumference of 50 feet. Its scratchy aerial roots fell to the ground. From 30 feet or more, so first they cut the branches, sawing them off for seven days and the heap was huge. Insects and birds began to leave the tree. And then they came to its massive trunk, 50 men with axes chopped and chopped. The great tree revealed its rings of 200 years. We watched in terror and fascination the slaughter as a raw mythology revealed to us its age. Soon afterwards, we left Baroda for Bombay where there are no trees except the one which grows and seeds in one's dreams. It's aerial roots looking for the ground to strike. Well, with that note, we have come to the end of the session. Uh, this beautiful poetry and a very disturbing poetry, The Felling of Banyan Tree by Dilip Shitre, uh, I am sure has definitely touched each one of you all. 
and given you a sense of uh, connection towards nature, towards tree, and has also given you uh, a responsibility, a sense of responsibility of how important it is to save trees, to plant trees, and to be connected with environment because we are nothing without environment. So with that note, thank you all. Um, hope this session was uh, helpful to you all. Uh, if there is any uh, doubt or any concerns, you are uh, free to uh, raise it. In the next session, we can discuss. Uh, we will share the sway links with you for you to um, have a reference uh, in future. Thank you all. See you in the next session.